everybody out there, folks, it's nice to see you. I am Morton Mortensen, and it's nice to see you. On today's show, we're going to be hosting the Milagros Best Barista Competition, and we're going to send Thor over there. Is that right, Thor? Okay, oh, okay. Get over there, right? Yeah, you just hurry up and you head straight over there, don't you stop? Do you want me to bring anything like, like No, Tho, you just get on over there to the competition. Okay, all right, right Tho, and we gonna see some expert coffee maker making coffee. That's what they do. And it's gonna be a nice day at the coffee shop in Alamos, Colorado. Milagro's Coffee House and the Bed Barista Competition. Welcome back, folks. This is Tho with a special report from Milagros Coffee House. Today, we are going to be holding the competition for the best barista, sponsored by the Rancho Report. Now, our competitors will go up head to head making coffee for three judges who will then decide whether or not they make it to the next round. And we'll be watching from in here, folks, so stay tuned for the best barista. Ben Malgaris here. I'll be refing this wonderful competition we have. Our baristas are excellently experienced in the world of coffee making. Coming from various diverse elements and having unique trades, we'll be in for an excellent show here. Wonder how it's gonna come out. The rules will be no pinching, biting, or sabotaging in the other contestants' brew skills. Along with this, we we'll ask everyone, no cell phones in the arena, and ladies, please keep your hands and other items off of our baristas at all times. Alrighty, in this corner over here we have... Awesome Blossom Austin. It's getting a little steamy in here, but uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Let's keep it hot, baby. Oh my god, his ankles! <gasps> How about a latte? Or a mocha? Whatever you want, however you want it. Simone Cowhide. 
and we've got Paul Abdullah Ablongata. Welcome to the Milagros Master Barista Competition. Let's get ready to brew. Phase one, Austin. Are you going to be ready for this challenge? Yeah. Good. Looks like your challenge is going to be the decaf cafe latte. All them ladies going wild like a bunch of heifers in heat for awesome blossom Austin. What do you think, Mort? Well, all right. Awesome blossom Austin. Brought to you by the Rancho Report, and we had Milagro's Coffee House Brewing Coffee. So we'll really see, we'll really have to see what those baristas have in store because I'll tell you, it ain't no sunshine and daisy picking weather out there in the Milagro's Coffee House. It's a real competition. These are real barista, and they are in for good. Temper tantrum Tim, I don't remember seeing anybody there. Well, we had a tantrum. So they were down a contestant? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, now, woman, I told you I didn't want to go down there. Boy, I tell you what, I wish I was down there. I could show these little whippersnapper a little thing or two. We could drink some coffee. We could drink the cream, we could put the sugar. show you how you make a real cup of coffee. You want to put your coffee in the cup? What? What? You got the cream? And then we're going to bless it. Completely absurd. No, the key thing is just make sure you don't swallow the metal. Who's this guy? How do you make I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know you like that. What do you think you're doing? You think you're some better boy? So that's all we get. We get just one. We get just one cup. You pass it around. So yeah, I think we're gonna right have there. to pass on that. That's. Oh, come on, baby. Do things. Now wait a minute. Try that cup of coffee. You're not even a contestant. I can't, there's, you have metal in my coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on that one too. Security! Oh, the damn host! What are you thinking? Sally! <laughs> and now so we can hurt. Alright. 
What is this? I personally think that he should have given out three cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, um, like little and words. I really didn't like the fact that his technique was a little <laughs> slow, but the coffee tastes okay. It was just totally barbaric how he served it. Where's my coffee? We're, we're supposed to share? Exactly. It's, it's called Cafe Olay, not Cafe Cappuccino. Cut back on the foam, damn it. Hopefully, the next contestants know what they're doing. Where, where exactly did Mort Mortensen come out of? Left field? I don't know. Was that illegal? Possibly. We're waiting for our technical team to figure it out right now. We're, we're still going to go on with competition though, regardless. I promise you that and I assure you, no more shenanigans will be had on my field. We have Miranda, our challenges master. There she is, folks. She's making it hard for the contestants. She's taking off the steam wom nog. Oh, this could cause many problems. That was one interesting round for the first phase of our competition. Next up, Eva Kaneva. And her opponent, Backstreet Bothy. <laughs> Both these out of this world. Little old to be a Backstreet Boy, aren't you? Yeah, I've been making coffee since Backstreet Boys were popular. Yeah! Point proven. All right. The challenge for you two: vanilla cafe latte. Begin. I think it went pretty, pretty good. Um, I just kind of felt it out, which is, you know, something you gotta do a lot of times. You, you don't know how things are gonna turn out, so you just gotta go with it. My milk was nice, nice and frothy. Shots were good. Uh, the judges complained I only used one cup, but they didn't really give me anything else to serve it in. So, uh, but all in all, I think it was a good drink. I was pleased with it. You can't please the other person every time, you know. Sometimes you just gotta please yourself. So that's what I did. You know, um, the competition round one was was pretty fierce. Um, never before seen two baristas making uh, vanilla latte on the bar at the same time. I think we pulled it off really well. Um, I I really focused on on pouring that shot at 18 seconds, um, and I think I made a great drink. And I hope you guys agree. 
Dude, I'm real confident, you know. I mean, if people don't like the coffee I make, that's their problem, you know. I mean, the only thing that I really think went wrong was that somebody put all the cups in my way. But, you know, I, I think, you know, it was it was great. And I, I, I think I got this, you know, for real. Um, that was like the perfect vanilla latte. That was like the best that has ever graced the lips of a coffee judge ever. And I think the results are going to say that. And I'm going to go to Disney World. Thank you. Breakers, we break the ice. Milagros 2013 Barista Competition. All right, now who's going to be eliminated? What have our judges decided? Let's go with the popular decision first of who's the best. One vote for Eva Kaniva. One vote Backstreet Bothy. And the final vote for the popular decision, Eva Kaniva. <laughs> now for the elimination. First vote, Awesome Austin. Second vote, Mort Mortensen. Final vote for the elimination. Mort Mortensen. Now, let's see how the rest of our contestants do with their next challenges. Our unforeseen challenges master. Oh, she's putting lipstick on the cup. Back for round two of the Barista Challenge. Our competitors in this round so far, Awesome Austin and the Magnificent, Eva Kaniva. Are you both ready for this challenge? Challenge which is in my pockets. Challenge which determines both of your fates. For round two, we have the cappuccino. With some flair, you will need to use our secret ingredient. Ladies first, ladies first, come on, sir. And your secret ingredient, sir. The reveal. The reveal. Some sort of cheese. No, it's cheese. Yeah. Cheese? It's good. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. Let's see what goes down in this cheesy round. Two. 
What? Did you see Eva can even meet with the door? Did you see that? Talk about sabotage. Who stole okay. my milk? Who stole my milk, Austin? Who started it? Well, this is one hell of a show, folks. Unacceptable. Not as sweet as her first drink, it's good, it's good. but Probably it's still good. good. Nice I foam. Know. I can't taste the cheese. Sing it in mine, it's maybe. A hmm. Is just a I can't even try it. I mean, there's I, blood in the cup. Was it served in a cup for me? I mean, no. no. I've had. Right. I've had better service well, in the I've alleyway. Made some guesses, but this is public TV. It's gonna have to be a fail. Our secret ingredient challenge continues. Our next challenger, Backstreet Bothy. What you got going through those headphones, son? Uh, new kids on the block, you know I'm keeping it legit. You ready for this, Bothy? I'm always ready. What you got? Dry cappuccino. Dry cappuccino.
Couldn't find my uh, ground bin, but I improvised. Stay tuned. Here's Miranda, the unforeseen challenge master. She's taking the picture. She's taking the picture. There she goes. What are they gonna do? Challengers, calling our page in our challenges now. Our judges have made their decision of who's up for elimination. Let's find out how they played. First vote. Wait. Will you marry me? Yes. Beautiful beginning to the barista challenge. Yes. My goodness. Temper tantrum Tim. Will you marry me? And boyish hood dreams. Gone, gone to the closet. I'm fine. Back to the elimination though. Sadly, someone must go. First vote, Awesome Austin. Second vote, Awesome Austin. Looks like our new fiance is disqualified. Backstreet Bothy has gladly decided to take up his groupies though on his path to baristahood. Are you both ready for your final challenge? Round three will consist of your beverage of choice. Let's see how this goes. That came through. It feels like maybe like a like a 20 to 21 second shot. That's what I prefer. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, foam is nice. Foam is nice. Let's try even. A mocha. Mocha latte. Okay. Wow, that's really good. I I like this one. She hit it at the ballpark. Right. So, how did you feel about okay. this case? I guess the judges do I mean, both these showed just a very simple yet elegant choice in the breve. The bitter shots, the compliment of the half and half, and the cream to kind of settle that out, yet go down smooth with full flavor was nice. And Eva went on again with a classic choice. I'm really nervous right now. Yes, yes, we have. And where we You can chop it there. I have a Everybody loves chop. To me, it's a little It's a good fun. choice. Everyone's favorite. And we're back. Our judges have made their decision. In my hand, I hold three votes. Three votes we should send someone shamelessly down the barista chain and at the same time recognize one of the most recognizable passionate baristas we have here today first vote eva <laughs> with a special note of don't marry him second vote eva Kaneva. <laughs> and the final vote backstreet bothy Let, let me go 
ahead and present you with your wonderful award. You win the stainless steel. Job well done, especially you, Austin. Any words for all those groupies and followers of his? Of, uh, of Austin's? Of course. You know, Austin's a great man, and he's quite a babe. It's okay if you guys still have a crush on him. Uh, I know I always will. It's my wife. Job well done. So just keep it up. I wouldn't want to take his fans away from him. And you know, Backstreet both of you did a great job too. Your, your moves are pretty sick. In me, I'm the winner. Stick around next year when we come back to you with the Milagros Barista Challenge. This is Ben Nogueras saying good night and not most of all, stop in for late night latte. This is a wonderful machine, pulling its shots excellent well. Great heart, great body, great crema. We have our magnificent stainless steam wands, our porta filters, our nice porcelain cups. This machine will determine the fate of some of our baristas, send some people home crying. Who knows what's going to happen in this 2013 competition. On the tip. Sorry. Well, well, I got eliminated, folks. It happens. Sometimes life gets you down, gets you in the mud and the grinds and the spoiled milk, and you just gotta keep pushing through. You gotta drink that milk. Yeah, you know, sometimes you eat the cat, and sometimes the cat eats you, right? Sometimes the goldfish jump out of the bowl. Well, sometimes you milk the cow, sometimes the cow milk you. I ain't worried about it though. How you doing? It's nice to see you.